Uh-huh. And we are on this one. Okay, am I recording? I am. Me? Right. So what we're going to look at? Work. Work? Yep. Good old fashioned work. Okay. Right, so in this picture you can see someone working. Yep. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Work is being done. So if you look at this picture, we can say he's doing work. What things do you need so that you can say he's doing work? What things does he have? Uh, what I mean is, for example, um, well, no, I don't want to give you too much information. What does he have in the picture? What can you know about him? Uh, yeah. Strength is force. yeah, so there's a force. Yeah. So firstly there's a force. Uh, what else is happening here? Yeah, now let's try and use the I know what you're saying, let's try and use the vocab that maybe we have in physics. Uh, yeah, so we have a force. There's a weight. There's maybe a speed as well. There's time. Yeah. So there's motion, yeah. So here there's a force. Yes. This is him shoveling. There's a force. Uh, also, the force is making something move. That's the motion. Yeah, that's the motion. So the dirt, mm -hmm. the sand is being moved. And also, this is important, that the movement of the sand is in the same direction as the force. So, for example, if his shovel goes up, the force goes up, and the sand goes up as well. The sand moves with the shovel, uh, and the force is usually over some area, but that's, uh, that's not for right now, that's later in the lesson. Okay, so actually in physics we have a definition of work, and we say that the work done by a force acting on a body is the force multiplied by the displacement. Now look, you don't need to write all the words down, as a formula it's quite simple. The work is the force multiplied by the displacement. So for example, can you just look? So here's the force, and it's making this move. Okay, so that's the F, and this here is the S, the displacement. Okay, so that's the formula. All I really need you to write down is the formula and what each letter means. Don't use work, F is force, the unit? Mm -hmm. The unit? We'll get that in a moment. Okay, continue? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, the units are, well, what's F, F, uh, F, S, and S is displacement. So, what's the unit? Um, Newton meter. We actually use joules, but one joule is the same as one newton meter. One joule of work. It's the same as one newton meter. Now, I would like you to write this definition down because it is an exam definition. Yeah, one joule is one joule is basically one newton meter. One joule of work is done when one newton moves something one meter, essentially. Yeah, uh, they quote and they have. Yeah.
Now, if you want, you can use Newton meters, but it's normal to use joules as the unit. Okay, Jay, get off the phone. Nobody laughs at their calculator. Do you think hiding it behind your lid is going to fool me? <laughs> well, I look like an idiot. <laughs> All right, let me give you a clue, okay? It might be somebody with a calculator lid like this, but their hand motions are. <laughs> <laughs> that looks funny, lol. <laughs> Do you really think that was going to fool me? <laughs> Oh yeah, even like this. Oh yeah, I'm totally doing some calculations here. <laughs> Next time I'm taking the phone. Okay. Right, can I go on? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, these are some examples I want us to do together. So I want to say what work is being done. So the first one, uh, a mother lifting her baby up from the ground. Okay. So there's work being done. What's the force? Yeah, yeah, just, just like this. Yeah. Uh, the force is uh, an up force to lift the baby, and the distance is the distance that I was lifted. Yeah, the height. Okay. What about somebody pushing a box? So the force is how much force she used to push the box. And the distance is no. how much the box moved. It's been pushed. Yeah. Oh, pushed. Yeah. Uh, a man kicking a football. So what's the force? The force, his foot, uh, in part, uh, pushes on the ball. Uh, but what's the distance? Yeah, I'm trying to yeah, kind of trick you now. It's not oh, actually. Oh, oh, oh. There is. The distance is how long his uh, foot was touching the ball. So for example, if he kicks the ball, the distance is only going to be, you know, this much. Because that's how long the force was pushing the ball. After that, it's not, we don't use that distance. We only use the distance for what the force actually did. So the distance between the football and his foot. The distance the ball travelled when his foot was touching it. So if you think about a footballer, when they kick the ball, the ball is on their foot for a small time, and then it leaves his foot. Uh -huh. So it's how far the ball moved while it was on his foot. So if you think about it like this, if this is the ball and this is his foot, it will be this distance, but not the distance where it leaves. Yeah. Um, Somebody hit the wall. So what's the force? Well, that's the force. Uh, and what's the distance? Yes, maybe here to here? Not this? No, how long can you touch the wall? Okay, good. We're thinking now. Do you think it depends on how long he touches the wall? Yeah. Yeah. And this one is actually a trick. Not really any work is being done because the wall hasn't moved. Yeah, the wall hasn't moved. So your idea was good, but it's actually because the wall hasn't moved. Uh, no work has been done on the wall. Now, if you hit the wall hard enough and it breaks and moves, then some work has been done on the wall. Yeah. And the last one, a uh, person carrying someone on their shoulders. Uh, what do you think? Uh, no work? Yeah, no work. And the reason why this seems strange, but if somebody's sitting on your shoulders, which way is the force? No. no, no. Yeah, but you are given an upward reaction force, yeah? So the force has gone up. Uh, but which way is the movement? If you're walking, this way. Yeah. And the down force coming by the weight of the child, yeah. The weight of the child. Yes, yes, yes. So the force is this way, yeah. but which way is the movement? Ooh. This way. Uh, so you can only use the distance in the direction of the force. So if the father did this, 
stop the work. But walking like this, there's no work. Now you think, I know that seems a bit strange, because you feel like, but shouldn't there be work if he's moving? But for us, we only talk about the direction of the force. And if you just think for a moment, it kind of makes sense, because if the father was sitting with the child like this, and he did this, that's yeah, yeah, that's work. That's definitely work. Yeah. But this, uh, it's not so much work, is it? Like, I mean, <laughs> it's tired, <laughs> but it's not really work. We got the idea? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Right. Uh, so the last example was the one I really wanted to make the point. The direction is very important. So the force and the direction, uh, they must be pointing the same way. Okay. Uh, so we have, yeah, we have a question here to do. Uh, so this is uh, somebody pushing a 100 kilogram box. Um, okay. So don't you don't need to write down the A B C D E part, but just write down the information, please. So a woman pushes a 100 kilogram box. Oh, and by the way. For this question, I'm saying there's no friction because that makes it more complicated. So everything here is smooth. The only force is the pushing force. So just the information, please. No need to write this just yet. What you got, KJ? What's that? Sweet? You got any spare? Give us some. Maybe after my sweet. Thank you. What flavor? Ah, I can live with that. Not bad. <laughs> okay, can we go on to the question now? No, 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 no. No, Grace, I just need you to write this part. No question? No, no, no. Don't. <laughs> There's the question. I just want you to write this part. I'll do this now. Oh, we can draw the picture. Yeah, we just want to draw the picture first. Okay? Did you write these three lines? Oh. Okay, that's enough for the moment. No, no, you don't need to remove anything. That's enough for the moment. <laughs> so. Um, how big is the box? It's 100 kilograms. Yeah? Uh, okay. Here she is. And she pushes with a force F. And I say that it starts at rest, and then um, how much time later? Five seconds, is it? It's going at one meter per second. Okay, now we'll do the questions, Grace. So the first question is, firstly I want to know what is the acceleration? Okay, so uh, Fahad, yeah. what type of problem is this? It's just what? U, V, A, T, S. So what's the U? Zero, the V. One. A. Don't know. T. Five. S. We don't know. So let's calculate um, V equals U plus A T. One equals zero plus A five. So that means A is zero point two meters per second squared. So that's the first one. 
Now what do you think I ask you to do in part B? Well, in part B, I ask you for the distance. So we'll use S equals UT plus a half AT squared, zero plus uh, zero point one times twenty five. So the S is two point five meters. Okay? Right. Next question was what was the force? So, um, KJ, how can I get the force? By what formula? No, actually, you gave me a sweet, so you get off the hook. Uh, Grace, how can I calculate the force? <laughs> how can I calculate the force, F? What? Uh, MA. Yeah. So, what's the M? I think I said it was 100, wasn't it? Uh -huh. And the A is. 0 0.2, so the force is 20 newtons. Now, what do you think my next question was? Work. The work, yes. Yeah. So, what's the formula for work, Karar? FS. F times distance, yes. Yeah. So, in this case, it'll be 20 times 2.5, which is 50 joules. Jack, for Jules. Question? No. No. The capital is the smaller. Uh, you know what? I'm not 100% sure right now. Probably the capital J. No, maybe it's small J. Small J. Uh, you know what? I'll easily fix this. <laughs> so what exam they are for the CG? To be honest, if you did that in the exam, I wouldn't mind. I used to use Joel in my school. Write the word Joel. Yeah, Joel. But that's the safe way to do it. Yeah, you can do it this way. Oh, big or small J? No, I mean, like, we don't use uh, an M for the work. Yeah, yeah, no, the question we have is, we're not sure if it's a small J or a big J. No, it's a I think it's a big J. Yeah, yeah, big J. They often cost in some hands. Now, it might not be true for every country, though. Uh, okay, the last part here, What is the work if she pushes at an angle of 10 degrees? Oh sorry, do you need a minute? Do you have this? Grace, do you have this? Yep, yeah? okay. So for the last part E, what happens is her force, um, what was the force? 20 newtons? 50? 20 newtons, was it? So what I say in the last part was now her 20 newtons is at an angle of 10 degrees. So this is 20 cos 10 and this here is 20 sine 10. Now which one do we care about and which one do we not care about for the work? Work is force multiply distance. What's the distance? Let's say it's still the same. Um, what did I say the distance was? 2.5? Okay. So my question is, what do I use for the force now? So maybe someone could tell me, do I use this, this, or this? Uh, 20 cosine. Yeah, why is that correct? Uh, because of the angle. Yeah, well, because the movement is this direction, isn't it? Yeah, so we only care about this force. This one here, um, all it's doing is changing the reaction force. We don't care about it. For the work, we only care about this one. So what I want you to see is that um, the work is a little bit different now because it's almost like 
she's given it less force when she pushes at an angle because there's less horizontal force. This is why it's a little smaller. Yeah? So, is that okay? The only difference with the angle one is you must only use the uh, component in the direction of the uh, movement. Yeah? Okay. If it's lifting, then we use Yeah, if it was being lifted, you'd use the sine one. But we don't mix the two problems together. It's either going this way or going this way. Well, okay, sometimes you mix them, but that's later. Uh, okay. There is another factor here. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a good time to bring it up. So, when she's pushing it, um, you know, two hands on the box. Um, no, there's, well, I have a picture here. Okay, so if you think about this, um, my weight is the same. It doesn't change right now. So why is it more painful if I stand on one foot? My force going down is W. Yeah? I'm not going to think about the same. Force down is W, yes? Yeah. Force up is reaction. Yeah, sure. If I put both feet on the ground, is my W the same or different? Is my W the same or different? The same. The same. Yeah. The same. Yeah. It's weight. Yeah. It's weight. Yeah. W. Double W. Double W. And half keep it the same. It's half the box. No. This is still W going down. That's a different way. But your foot is. Yeah. It's half. Yeah, it's half. But my W is still the same. It's pushing it all the way from the one side. Yeah. Part the face. Yes, but this is because you have the face is different. The area. So this is the thing. We also need to think about area when we're talking about pushing something. The area. Or as you said, face, which is true. Now face is another word, it's fine. I don't know. I'm not going to stand on one toe. Most difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong picture. <laughs> I thought I had a picture of a ballerina. That's not a ballerina. Do you know a ballerina? Yeah, the dancer. The dancer? And she stands on one toe? Yeah. Yeah? This is, um... Like yes. <laughs> this is most difficult because the area is really small. The base. The base. She's on one toe. Yeah. yeah. Where did my ballerina go? I took back to the man. <laughs> so anyway, we have this new idea called pressure. So pressure is uh, how much force something is pushing on. Oh, uh, that's wrong. There should be a slash here. Hold on, hold on, let me fix it. Well, you can fix it. It should be F divided by A. F over A. Let me fix that. Force over area? Force over area is pressure. Pressure. Is it related to force? Force over area. Mhm. Um, where's it gone? Ah, oh, that's why I don't have my battery arena. Uh, okay. Yeah, it should be. Force over area. Okay. Did you write the correct formula down? P is pressure, F is, F is force, A is area. Reloading. Oh, whoop. Let's try this again. Open. What? Yes. 
computer is also dead. Uh, okay, back to full screen. Okay. There's my ballerina. Oh. Although too big. Come on! Too much pressure, yeah. There we go. There we go. F over A. So what do you think the units are for pressure? Yeah, but if you were just to look at this, Newton per meter squared. Yeah. Or if you start talking, it's also called Pascal's. We say one Pascal is one Newton per one meter squared. But we use Pascal for pressure. So uh, Amanda, what you were saying here, um, the W is the same, but when I stand on one foot, the area is smaller, so there's more pressure. There's the same force, but smaller area. So we say there's more pressure. Now what I need you to write is uh, really just the formula and what Pascal is. Pascal is one Newton per one meter squared. So is there any other unit for uh, the pressure we use? Newton per meter squared or Pascal? Oh, uh, there's, there's non-SI units as well. Some people use PSI, it. I think. Yeah, there's more units for pressure, but what we use is with this. I think in America they use PSI. Okay. Can I go down? Yeah. So yeah, I really need big boots because they wear quickly. Can I go down? I think I need to, yes? Yeah. Yeah. The same as one Newton per meter squared. Okay. So the last question here continues on from the one we did earlier with the woman pushing the box. So you don't need to write this down. Everything is the same, except I tell you the area of our hands pushing the box. Okay? So the area of our hands are 100 centimeters squared. Okay? So now let's calculate the pressure. Yes, you do. That's part of the complication. So uh, the formula for pressure it's force per area. And how much force was she pushing the box with? What did we say? Um, 20 newtons. Was it 20 newtons? Yeah, 20 newtons. And uh, that's 20 newtons. And what's the area? I think I said 100 centimeters squared. Uh, squared. Yeah. Are you said in the meters? In the new question I said it, yeah. In the new question I said area is 100 centimeters squared. Don't you have to convert it? Yes, that's what Karas said, or KJ or someone. Uh, 100 centi squared meter squared. How big is the centi, Fahad? 10 to the minus 2. 0 0.01 squared meter squared. This is 2,000 Newton per meter squared, which is 2,000 Newton per meter squared. And what do we say that's called? That is called a <laughs> Pascal. So 2,000 Pascals. Or if you want, you can write that as um, 2 kilo Pascal. 
So that's how much pressure is in her hands when she pushes the box. Now, I'm giving you the area I guessed it. I don't know. I don't know if that's too big or too small. You think so? No. Oh, yeah. Now, suppose um, she presses with 20 newtons, but she puts one hand away, but she still presses with 20 newtons, so she presses harder. What do you think happens to this? Does it go up or does it go down? Go down. Go down. No, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Because the force is still the same, but well, what happened to the area? Well, it's smaller. Small. Yeah. So then the pressure is bigger because you have force divided by area. If the area is smaller, then the calculation will be bigger. In fact, how much bigger? It would be twice as big if our hands are the same. <laughs> so this will be four kilopascals. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can take a picture on your phone if you want. Oh, I guess I'm more the I'll put it on a little later today, yeah. Uh, we still have some other topic to do. I know. No. Yeah, it's actually a very small topic. And the good news is uh, there's only one question in it. That question has For the second question? That question has yeah, been. only one question. Yeah, the, the, the no? Question. Well, just one question, really, yeah? Uh, the pressure is F over A. Yes. So, the relation between F and A, we call it... Uh, uh, in, uh, in this case, it'd be proportional. proportional. That's the word you want, yeah. And there are two, two words, uh, one proportional and... And inversely proportional. The proportional means if this no, goes uh, up, this goes, goes up. up. Oh, 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 the, this yeah. one is inversely proportional. Inversely yeah, so if this goes up, this goes down. Yes. Uh -huh. That's what you mean, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, uh, that's, yeah. The area gets um, smaller, so the pressure gets bigger. Is that right? So this is inverse? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's right. That's right. Did you take this on your phone, or are you just going to get it from Moodle? Moodle. Moodle? Okay. So, that's very big when it's on Moodle, yes. Okay, we'll go to the next topic then. Um, it is a nice topic.